Hey there, I'm Celia, a French freelance illustrator and full-time designer, and welcome in this art supply test video. Today we are testing together the SD and the Schmink Linoprint inks. To give you a bit of context, a few months ago I decided to try out the Linocut printing because I found this technique fascinating. So I was super excited to give it a real go because a few years ago I already tried it but I was way less patient and I wasn't happy with the result. Um, it was okay but far away from what my goal was. At the beginning of the year I bought some block printing inks from SD and I did some tests. But I wasn't super happy with the result and with how the ink was reacting and a friend of mine, Smoky, told me that this brand ink wasn't the best and she gives me the advice to try the Schmink product. So last week I received my new Schmink inks and here we are for a test between these two brands. So my main struggle with the SD inks is the color. Actually, it's not really their fault because I should have paid more attention that the blue and the red in the pack aren't cyan and magenta. So the SD blue and red aren't primary colors. It means that I was super frustrated because I hadn't the right colors to mix them and obtain the colors that I wanted, especially bright purple. And I wasn't able to reach the colors that I wanted for my, for my prints. The Schmink colors are way brighter and more pigmented and they're mixing really well together, so I'm super happy with the new colors. What I also like with the Schmink inks is that they are more fluid than the SD inks, so it's easier to work with them and to obtain the right amount of ink to do the printing. For me, a good ink means that I'm able to have a nice layer of ink on the paper but without having some ink slipping in the grooves and filling them. Once applied on paper, the Schmink inks are super flat and smooth. On the other hand, the SD inks are really sticky and create some weird textures that I don't like at all. For the SD inks, the texture is very different from one color to another, which is annoying because you can't mix them without having some bad surprises. The metallic colors are the worst, they are not re reacting well at all. And the only ink that worked quite okay for me was the black one. So when I discovered this schmink texture or absence of texture, I was super pleased. Regarding the drying time, the SD inks are still sticky even after a long time, so it's quite complicated to store the print. And I tried to store my prints in a pile after a few hours for the Schmink inks and they are not sticky at all, so I can say that the drying phase is also way better. So to conclude, I can tell that without a doubt the Schmink liner inks are way better, but they're also way more expensive. So it's something that you should have in mind that you just want, if you just want to try the liner prints for once, or just play with it without having some high expectation about the result, um, I think the SD inks can be a great medium to start with and to do some exercises, especially the black one because it was the color that react uh, the better. But if you want to have bright colors and professional rendering, you should give a go to the Schmink line of printings. I hope that this video was useful for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!